Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you how to transfer from Qcoin to Gated.io. So the first thing you'll need to do is to go over to Qcoin and log in. Once you're logged in you need to go over to the top right and then go over to assets. Here you need to click on main account because as you can see right here we can do deposits and withdrawals. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one and over on this page you'll see all the tokens you're holding. But since I'm not holding any coins, I'll go over to the search bar and search for the coin I would like to transfer. In this case, that's Algorand. So once you have decided which coin you would like to transfer, you can go over to the withdrawal button. Now, over on this page, you will see that the first thing you need to fill in is the wallet address you want to transfer to. So to find this address, you need to go over to gate.io and then go over to wallet and then deposit. Now, you'll need to search for the coin you want to transfer. So for me, that's Algorand. Always make sure to select the same coin on Gate.io as you have selected on Qcoin, because if you transfer a cryptocurrency to the address of another coin, you'll lose all the funds for transferring. Once you have selected the right coin, you need to copy the address and then go over to Qcoin and paste the address in. You'll now have to select the network you want to use. I can't choose between any networks, but if you need to choose a network, you can google something like which network does support transferring and then the name of your cryptocurrency. Once you have filled in the wallet address and the network you want to use, the last thing you need to do is to fill in the amount of coins you would like to transfer. Obviously I don't have any algorithm on Qcoin right now, but you can fill in this amount manually or you can click on the max button to select all of the available holdings. Once you have filled in the amount you want to transfer, you can now click on confirm and then you'll need to go through the security verification process. That process will be similar to the one you need to go through when you're logging in on Qcoin. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.